Don't write something like, I want to go into Haas because I'm interested in investment banking. Hey guys, my name is Lillian and I'm currently a junior at the Haas School of Business at UC Berkeley. I've gotten a few messages asking about my experience getting into Haas, so I wanted to sit here and talk about that today. And even though it might be early for some people watching this, whether you are a current freshman or incoming freshman, I don't think it's ever too early to start preparing and understanding what you're getting yourself into before you start applying to the school. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. And just a disclaimer, I don't think the major is a make or break moment for anybody, whether you get in or not. Honestly, anything that happens after that is a result of your hard work. And I don't think a major is necessarily going to stop you from your goals. And so before I get started, I first want to talk about the undergraduate business program as a whole. So Haas is really well known for its business program, especially at the undergraduate level. It's ranked number three in the nation and it's a top public business program. And in terms of careers where people go into, a lot of people follow the traditional ABC path, which stands for accounting, banking, and consulting. But these are definitely not what everyone does. I'm personally most likely going to tech. So you don't have to do these career paths in order to apply to Haas. So as an undergraduate, there are three main ways in terms of getting into Haas. So the first is as a continuing student, which you apply in your sophomore year. And this is what I did. And this is where you have to submit an application with your grades, extracurriculars and essays, so that is the most common form of going to Haas. The second way is through a freshman admit, so there are some programs at UC Berkeley where you can enter the school as a freshman, so this is through the MET program and the GMP program. So the MET program is the Management, Entrepreneurship and Technology program where people who are studying an engineering discipline enter in as business, but there's also the second program which is GMP, this stands for the Global Management Program. The students who go into this program have an international sort of lens to it in which they travel to London for the first semester, they have all these international language requirements, but these two paths aren't very common for most people. And the third way is through a junior transfer through community college. And this is a lot what a lot of people do as well. So for this video specifically, I'm going to talk about my path to Haas as a continuing student since that is what I have the most experience in. So now I'm going to talk about the application as well as any admissions criteria. So basically the application opens at around the beginning of November and closes at the end of the month. So you have a month to do all of your essays and submissions. There is a portal sort of like applying to college where you fill out your coursework and grades as well as extracurriculars you've done throughout your freshman and sophomore year, and two essays that are about 500 words. So in terms of the breakdown, which admissions office looks at these parts to your application, it consists of 50% coursework, 35% essays, and 15% extracurriculars. So this is what the admissions criteria looks at when they're evaluating applications. And the acceptance rate for the year I was in was about 37%. Since the people applying to Haas are a self-selecting pool of Berkeley students, it's actually quite competitive to get into the program, but I wouldn't let that dissuade you. And another disclaimer, I'm not a part of any sort of admissions committee at Haas, so anything that I talk about in the next few sections are just my experience and any speculations to why I got admitted. So the first part of your application is your grades and coursework, which is what people typically think of when they're applying to schools. So I definitely believe that grades when applying to Haas is important, but that is not the one factor that will get you into Haas. For my case specifically, I actually had a lower than average GPA, and I know cases in which people have achieved a 4.0 and I didn't get admitted. It all comes down to the other 50% of your application, which I will talk about later. So if you look at the class profile, the average GPA is a 3.76 for the year I was admitted and the middle 80% of students had a range of a GPA of 3.5 to 3.96 so I think as long as you try to be in this range it should be fine and definitely my GPA was in this range but it was definitely not like the average. Overall I would just advise people to work as hard as you can in your classes but definitely don't beat yourself over it if your grades aren't perfect or aren't as high as you wouldn't because I definitely had that sort of mentality but I definitely believe there are so many other parts of the application that are just as important as your academics. Typically if your grades are below the average you would need other factors to make up for it and this is what I did so we'll touch upon this later. So there are a few core classes you need in order to apply for Haas so this includes the principles of business class, two semesters of calculus, introduction to economics, statistics, and English A and B. 
So in terms of like using any AP scores to pass out of these, you can use AP scores to pass out of some of these classes, but the ones that you must take at Berkeley regardless is statistics and the principles of business class. I would actually recommend passing out in as many of the prerequisite classes as you possibly can. A lot of them are known as reader classes, which are sort of designed to keep some people out of the major, so I would try to pass out as many as you can, but no worries if you can't. I was able to pass out of one semester of calculus, so that definitely helped me in terms of making progress towards my degree and having room to take other sorts of classes. But there was something that I didn't know before coming into Berkeley was even if you get a 5 on the AP Calc BC exam, you cannot pass out of Calc 2, like you have to take another semester of math. And so after you have some of these core classes mapped out, you want to fill your, the rest of your schedule with other university requirements. So for Haas, there is the seven course breadth requirement in which you have to take some general education requirements in various categories. So I would do that as well as any other requirements like the American cultures requirement, history requirement, etc. I would definitely recommend before you start registering for classes to make a two to four year course plan of the classes you want to take in the first two years. That way when you sort of plan out your classes in advance, you are not taking everything in the same semester and it's really helpful in terms of planning for the classes you want to take down in the future. In terms of my personal schedule, I mostly took breath classes with the core prerequisite classes and that way I was able to sort of balance out my GPA and boost up my overall GPA in case I didn't do as well in some of my core classes. So that is a strategy I would highly recommend since Haas definitely looks at the overall GPA that you achieve once you apply as a sophomore. However, Haas mostly looks at the grades that you achieve in those core classes so I would make sure to focus a lot of your energy on those. But at the same time, I wouldn't stress out too much if you don't get a certain grade that you want because you have to remember that grades are only 50% of your application and the other 50%, I believe, are just as or maybe even more important. So let's move on to the next section. All right, so next I'll be talking about extracurriculars and even though this is only 15% of your application, I think this section directly correlates to your essay section. So I'll talk about this first. So the first point I'll make is to not join random extracurriculars or clubs that you are not really interested in or just for the sake of applying because Haas definitely wants to see some sort of impact or substance you've made on the community. So if you join a ton of random things, you don't really have room to take on leadership positions or spend more time on the ones that you are actually interested in. I would definitely try joining things that you're interested in because then you have more room to make an impact take on leadership positions and overall contribute more to the overall organization and to the greater community, which is definitely something that Haas looks for when they're evaluating applications. And when it comes to clubs and organizations on the Berkeley campus, a lot of people tend to think of business clubs as the only way to join an organization or to make an impact on the community. But that's definitely not the only type of organization you can join. There are so many different types of cultural clubs, volunteering organizations, and really a lot of various different activities that you can join that are not like directly correlated to the business community, if that makes sense. And I definitely encourage people to go outside the whole idea of like the business club atmosphere. I think if you only join business clubs, you're not really going to stand out much anyway. So I'll definitely focus on the things that you are most passionate about or interested in because you can definitely make a bigger impact on your community, so I would try to think of it that way. You also don't have to only include stuff you did at school, you can also include other things and responsibilities that you've had, such as any part-time jobs or internships, like family responsibilities, hobbies, or just things that take up a lot of your time. I would include all the things that you've done throughout your freshman and sophomore year of college. So I'm going to talk about what I did for extracurriculars just so you can get any sort of idea in terms of my application and background specifically. So one of the first things I wrote about is the plus shop that I ran when I was in college and a little bit before that as well. So I started off with making plush videos on YouTube where I like show people how to make um, crafts and plush toys and stuff like that. And I also sold them on Etsy. So this is where 
I talked about my experience the most, which was creating and selling a product, dealing with customers, and overall making people happy through my creations. And I definitely think that this was a unique experience compared to a lot of other traditional extracurriculars. Even though it's not like a huge success or a huge business, I definitely learned a lot of applicable business skills and it shows initiative that I started something. So that was definitely something that I think was a really important part of my application specifically. And in terms of other school clubs I did, in my freshman year, I joined the Daily Californian marketing team. And I didn't write newspaper articles or anything, it was just more like promoting the newspaper at school and things like that. I also joined the ASUC, which is a student government, and I joined like this office for a year. And basically I was a part of like the arts committee where we made like advertisements and like PR materials and things like that. Oh, and also in sophomore year, I joined this other organization called Microfinance at Berkeley where we helped small businesses with microloans, any consulting projects that they wanted us to help with. And in that club, I served as VP of marketing for a year. From these experiences overall, you can kind of sense that there's a theme. So I talked about making plushies, marketing at the Daily Californian, marketing at the microfinance at Berkeley organization. So overall, it sort of has like an artsy marketing theme to it, which is what I was mostly going for when I was writing my application. So in terms of my advice for this section is to first join the clubs and extracurriculars that you are interested in, not for the sake of just joining many things, and definitely be able to make an impact on your community. And while you write some of your activities down in like the section where they have you describe your extracurricular activity, make sure to quantify and show the impact of your work through the description. So for example, if you were involved in a fundraiser, you should include like the revenue that your event generated, number of people who came to your event. So for the second tip, I think Haas definitely cares a lot about like diversity and fostering communities. So when you are doing your activities or reflecting on what you've done, sort of think about it in the way in which you were able to benefit others beyond just yourself. If you like approach the section in this way and just like think about doing things for the greater good, I definitely think you'll find more success in the process. And for the third tip, this is more based on my own experiences and speculation. So I definitely think there is a huge benefit in like doing something or creating something of your own. And this doesn't necessarily have to be a store like what I did. It could be starting a new club, starting a blog. I definitely think not a lot of people think about starting their own sort of like organization or their own initiative. But I definitely think when I was doing this, it helped me stand out. So I think... For you guys, it will also work into the same effect. All right, now as I talked about extracurriculars, now I'm gonna talk about the essays. And this is definitely the part that will make or break your application. This is a part in which differentiates you from everybody else applying to the program. It's the most important part of the application that people tend to overlook when applying to Haas. So Haas has these things called the four pillars. This is sort of like the culture of the school and they look for these traits when reading through your application. So I might have my notes here. The four pillars are one, question the status quo, two, confidence without attitude, three, student always, and four, beyond yourself. Like if you look on the Haas website, it sort of talks about more information about these four pillars, its school culture, and sort of like the values of school embodies. So definitely these are important factors to keep in mind while applying. So when you are applying, admissions definitely want to see a few things. They want to see if you're a good fit for the school, like are you going to contribute to the community? So that's one of them. Like I mentioned in my extracurricular section, they're not just looking for the things you've done to better yourself, but what have you done to impact the community and to make other people's lives easier. Another factor is why do you need Ha specifically to get to your goals? So you have to be very specific in your essays about why you need the resources at Haas and why you need this specific business major to get to point A to point B. So there has to be a very clear reason for why you're applying to Haas. In order to do all the things that I mentioned just now, I would have like a story from your past, like one or two stories that sort of acts like an anchor. When you talk about your past and link it back to the present to why it shaped you to the person you are now, you also have to use those two events from your present and the past to talk about your future goals 
of after graduation or what you want to do in the short term. And definitely the biggest point I will reiterate is how the essays are the main theme of your application and when someone reads them, they have to have a clear understanding of who you are and why you want this program and how it will help achieve your goals. So when they look at your profile, they should be able to see, oh, Lillian is the crafty marketing person. You have to sort of create this sort of image or theme for yourself that differentiates you from all the other people. So I'll definitely try to keep that in mind as you're writing your essays. When you're writing your essays and trying to convey the four cultural pillars that I talked about earlier, make sure to show and not tell these sorts of cultural nuances in your essays. So don't say things like, oh, I'm a student and I go beyond myself to help others. Like show that through what you've done and describe sort of the event that's taken place in your life. And the Haas Admissions Committee will see it if you frame it in sort of a storytelling manner. So I'll talk about some of the topics that I wrote for my essay. So the first essay, is pretty standard. They ask you why you are applying to the Haas program and why you are interested in the major. So in the first essay, I mostly talked about the story of how I enjoyed art as a kid and the process of learning different types of sewing techniques and business techniques as I was creating my small business. So that was sort of like my story and the past of like, like sort of like the hook to why I wanted to go into the Haas program. So then I linked this specific story to my career goals and talked about the specific Haas resources that I wanted to use in order to get to those goals. So through talking about the specific reasons why you want to go into Haas, for example, like specific professors, classes, programs you're interested in, you use those as a vehicle to talk about your future goals. So for me, I talked about using these resources to get into a creative tech field like product marketing or product design in the future. So. This is something that I talked about as my career goals. Now for the second essay for Haas, you typically have a choice between two different prompts. They might change every year depending on the year you apply. So for the essay that I chose for the second prompt, I chose about fostering a diverse community. And I talked about this before in which Haas really wants to see how you've impacted people beyond just benefiting yourself. For this essay, I took the same story of my business and like spun it in a different angle. For this essay, I talked about fostering a diverse community of crafters through meeting other people and teaching others how to sew and to do these craft projects. And as you can probably tell, there's a definite link between my first and second essay. Specifically, why I think this essay worked really well was that the admissions committee prob most likely saw my application and knew me as like the plushy girl, craft girl, marketing girl. And the story flowed together and it wasn't generic and it's definitely helped a lot. Would definitely recommend that for you as well. So my advice for this section is first, don't be boring and write something that's super generic or cookie cutter. Don't write something like I want to go into Haas because I'm interested in investment banking. Like that is like super boring and super generic and they definitely won't see you as an applicant that stands out from others. My second tip would be to try to find older students who are in Haas and have gone through the application process to read and look over your essays because odds are that the people who have gone through the process and are successful understand what is needed and can likely give you really good feedback on your essays. And it's really likely that the first few drafts of your essays are not gonna be as good. Mine were definitely really bad and I definitely had to write them probably at least two or three times before they sounded to the final form they were. My third tip would definitely be to stay true to yourself and write about the things that you are interested in. What you write is not finite. Like if you say you want to do something and then you change your mind a year later, like that's totally fine. People change their goals while they're in Haas, so I wouldn't worry too much about what you write as of right now. Keep these tips in mind as you're writing your essays and I think you'll be in a good spot. So after applying to the school, some people get interview requests after they submit their application. This is another part of the application that I wanted to touch on. Personally, I didn't get an interview request, so I didn't have experience in this personally. But typically I heard that applicants who are on the borderline, it can also be sort of random. So I want to talk about this in case anyone encounters this. Basically from what I've heard from other people, it's usually like a setup where you have to 
talk to the camera in a pre-recorded format so you have like five or six minutes to answer around five to six questions about your application. Some of these questions sound like standard interview questions, so they might ask things like why you want to go into Haas, what specific resources you want to take advantage of, your specific story. So these are sort of the things that you already touched upon in your application and hopefully thought about in depth while you were writing your overall essays and application in general. So I don't think there would be too many surprises if you encounter the interview. And yeah, I would just advise to be confident in your responses, make sure to practice a few times before you click the record button. That should be the last part of the application before they come out with a decision. So that is it, and I hope you learned something from this video. Hopefully this helps with applying the next admission cycle, whether you are a current freshman or incoming freshman. I don't think it's ever too early to start preparing for the process. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below or message me on Instagram. Feel free to check out some of my other videos on the day in the life of a Berkeley student, as well as my thoughts on UC Berkeley if you're interested in learning more. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!